Hi, the subject of the video today is clove hitch. If I take a rope and I act like I'm starting a car, take the key and turn it on, that's going to create a loop in the rope. So I'm going in a clockwise direction, creating my first loop, slide down, clockwise direction, create a second loop. I take the second loop, put it over top of the first loop, slide it down over the post, and pull, dress the knot a little, tighten it up a little bit, and that's a clove hitch. Let's run it again for a second. Start the car, start the car, right over left, put it on there, tighten it, Dress the knot up a little bit, and it's secured. Now, given this configuration, I was tying it over top of a post. Let's assume that I have to go here. I've got nothing to slip it over. It's all together. You can still tie this knot. Different methodology. Go over the top, and if you were going to just wrap it on around, that would be one thing to do. To tie this knot, you go over the top, and instead of going in the same direction, you loop over itself this way and bring it up here. At that point, this top piece that you just created by switching over top of the rope, you just lift it up slightly and take the end of the rope and slide it through there. Tighten it up, dress the knot, and you have your clove hitch again. Let's run that one a second time. Over the top, cross over the rope, lift it up, go through, dress the knot, clove hitch. I'm going to go back one more time and tie it over the post. Start the car, start the car, right over left, put it on here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you the application to this knot. Sometimes you're doing something and you need somebody to hold the other end of a line that you don't want mobile while you're working down here. So if you don't have a second person, this is an excellent knot on a post to do this with. And this is not the subject of the video, but suppose I wanted to secure it to this with half hitches, which we haven't talked about yet. But I could go over top of the rope. Pull the excess through, which is rather lengthy. Over the top. And continue working on down this, this log or, or whatever in particular it is that I'm trying to tie multiple times while, as you will have observed, not having to worry about holding the other end of the rope. And if I am concerned that this is going to slip, a simple granny knot in this end, tucked up against there, will keep that knot from going underneath this cross. Thank you very much.